Hey everyone, at Microsoft Ignite, Microsoft introduced a new application called Microsoft Loop. It is a new app which, as stated on the website, combines a powerful and flexible canvas with portable components that move freely and stay in sync across applications. Microsoft Loop aims to promote productivity with multiple people where you are able to co-create, build on other people's ideas, organize files, links, and data from other apps into one workspace with the supportable components to complete work in chat, meetings, or documents. It will highlight changes similar to how Microsoft Word does with track changes, show notifications, status labels, help with task lists, and more. Microsoft Loop has three main parts to it, workspaces, pages, and components. Workspaces are shared spaces where you're able to work with others, group everything you need for your project, and you can also track progress with shared goals. Pages are flexible canvases which allow you to organize everything in a page format. For example, you can drag text around, have elements such as links, files, or data specifically for your project. Components build on the idea of the Microsoft Fluent Framework, revolutionizing Fluent Components, where you can have, for example, a table in your email which is the same table in Microsoft Loop or in a Microsoft Teams chat. This means that I could take a table from Microsoft Word and I can share that table in Microsoft Teams. That Teams table could be edited by someone else who I've sent it to, and that will also update in Microsoft Word without having to share the whole document. This is really useful, and example components include lists, tables, notes, or customer sales data from Dynamics 365. Two key components showcase being the new voting table to help teams ideate, drive consensus, and finalize decisions together, and also a status tracker to help you gather info from your team and track progress for projects, maintaining an up-to-date status for your team. What's really exciting is that developers will be able to build third-party components by extending message extension applications and by using the Microsoft Graph connectors. There'll be more info on this at the Microsoft Build conference next year. Microsoft Loop components are coming this month across Microsoft 365 apps. For example, you have Microsoft Teams, Outlook, and OneNote. And the Microsoft Loop app itself is coming next year. So I really hope you all enjoyed. I'm really excited. Let me know what your thoughts are about the Microsoft Loop application down below in the comments. And I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.